Hallelujah. You are in this place and you are a businessman. The door of business has been closed since November last year. Nothing has happened to move you forward. I'm seeing a door open in the spirit. This is for business people. This is the major reason why you came. I said before you, I'm quoting revelations for you. The Lord is setting before you a very strange open door. That from tonight, no power will be able to shut that door. I'm saying it to you, April is your month. Back to back. Testimonies upon testimonies. April is your month. Back to back. Testimonies upon testimonies. I prophesy this to you if you believe it. Receive it and let it find expression in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. People who never heard about your business. There are angels that will noise your products. Noise your services abroad. And you will receive mysterious calls. Calls that will lead to your rising. Calls that will restore you financially. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. Yes, go ahead. Praise God. So I came from Benin yesterday. Uh huh. Because I'm having a lot of health challenges. Health challenges. Especially with my feet. My feet, I can't stand for more than three minutes and I can't sleep at night. So I came to church by eight today because I really wanted a change. While you were ministering, I was not able to stand. I was sitting down on my seat. And then you said we should receive strength to do what we could not do before. My legs are obtaining me because of diabetes. You had diabetes? My God, look at this. Your leg is not pain me again and I can stand. Which of them, my dear? Both of them. Go ahead and walk. Diabetes. Both of them. She came here from Benin. From Benin. He does these things that men will fear him. He does these things that men will praise him. You see, you never know the price of a real miracle until you need one. The day the doctors tell you we've done our best and there's nothing else we can do. The day all the helpers, the Bible says that woman with the issue of blood, she was not careless. She spent all her earnings, not some, not part, all her earnings on physicians. And the Bible says she did not feel better in any way. When you exhaust your options and medical science, as limited as it is, is not able to help you. That's when you will know the value of a miracle. Sometimes you see people looking very healthy, but then they are plagued with cancer, plagued with whatever. Some of you may not immediately be able to check yourself because of the peculiarity of your situations. Don't share the grace and just go back home and forget. Go to the hospital. If our medical team is not able to check you, which I doubt, make sure that you go and check yourself and confirm your miracle. My dear, in the name of Jesus, the Lord brings you perfection. And everything you've lost or wasted as a result of this, let it be restored to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's have three more here and three more there. Then we speak over the rest for sake of time. Go ahead. So, sir, maybe we we'll yes, have just Yes, testimony. if, if there are similar cases, you can just combine them They've together. All been so, he had a spirit leave him. He had a spirit leave you, yes. sir? Okay. You, what did you feel? I came here with a terrible headache. Headache? Noise. Noise. In the, in the head. Uh-huh. So, the moment you began to pray against yes. evil altars, I literally felt, that just left you. felt when the spirit left. Yes. And the headache is Wave them goodbye. Gone. They go for good. Amen. They are not needed. They should go somewhere else. But as far as your destiny is concerned, you are free and free forever Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Yes, please. So, sir, we have a few testimonies online, though. Um, so, okay. all these ones, they've been healed. Knee. Knee pain. She had a problem with her knee, and she yes. got healed. Yeah, Daddy, my, my name is my name, uh, Darling Finike Chiku. I'm having, I'm a footballer. I'm having a serious Footballer pain. again. Yes, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for this miracle. And we pray not only will God heal you like he's done, but may he lift you and may you be exalted in your career in the name of Jesus. I understand there are many, many miracles. Now, listen, because we're limited, there's only so much a miracle service. Those days uh, when the fathers held miracle services, it stretched for hours and even days. And so we try to manage within the time that we have. Um, so my apologies if you do come out and we're not able to do justice to your testimony. Remember, you can always submit it. And for those of you who connect, 
online, everybody here and the entire Koinonia Global Family, I presume that you should be connected to all our platforms. If you are not right away, after service, you can connect. Connect on YouTube, connect on Facebook, Instagram, and do let others know, do let others know that this is what God is doing so that they can connect, receive updates, faith-building updates. One thing you can be sure of is that on all our social pl media platforms, there is nothing there that is non-edifying to your spiritual life. Our media team have been trained. Anything you find on a social media platform, if you find nonsense on any platform, it does not belong to us. It may just be scammers or people writing nonsense. But anything you find on any Koinonia Global platform, whether here or any other expressions, a Zaria platform, US, Canada, UK, or any other expression, we have a creed, we have a rule. The only things that are posted are the things that will help you to be transformed, to know Jesus, and to inspire you through a great life. Okay, so please do well to take advantage of all our social media platforms. Very quickly, yes, sir. Okay, sir. We just have one last one, maybe a few online before. Yes, okay. Sorry, so quickly. Okay, my name is Wachet. Um, While I was down, when you prayed about back pain, immediately I felt relief, but I was still reluctant to come up. My husband yes. said, just go and testify. So. I, I came and actually the back pain is no more there and yes, I'm free. Bend and see. Check. Any pain? Gone forever. Yes, God bless you. It never returns to you again. So Kenny, let's have one or two online. Apostle, Apostle, this is from Peace. My daughter's case was mentioned. It's called an enlarged adenoid which causes her to snore at night while she is sleeping. My baby of nine months has been fighting with this since she was four months and has been on antibiotics every month. Doctors even said she may be operated upon when she gets to one year old. But today, God has healed her completely. Amen. At the mention of that case, I have checked her, and she is sleeping right now, but not snoring anymore. Come on, give Jesus Hallelujah. praise. Hallelujah. Apostle, this is the second one yes. from Goma. Apostle Joshua Selman mentioned a pain which he said comes when I sit. And he thought it was pile, but I knew it was an injured coccyx well, that causes me pain when I sit. In August 2020, I missed the top step in our staircase at home, and I fell down on my bottom. And since that time, my coccyx causes me pain. When I sit in any chair at work, in the car, or in the train or a bus, I have been bouncing on our couch, couch, and the pain is totally gone. Completely gone. Let's Hallelujah. celebrate Jesus. Jesus is alive. The last one here, Apostle, is yes. from Bright. I used to have this hooking pain on my chest. Sometimes it comes from both sides, and sometimes from the right side mm. of my chest. I've gone for tests and scan, and they said nothing is wrong. But I kept getting the pain for over a year now. And just after the prayer, I received my healing. Now I can breathe in deeply without feeling pain. Amen. Praise God. Let's give Jesus praise. Can we have one, two last ones? Yes, please. Go ahead. Pain in the ankle, pain at the nail, and pain at the back. That sometimes it cannot stand for long. He even falls. And it's but gone now. Pain is gone. Perfected completely. forever. He Perfected. fell in the pool, and then he had difficulty in lifting up his leg. But and now, now you are able to lift it. Let's give Jesus praise. Completely healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Low blood pressure healed. Low blood pressure. Yes, Perfected sir. forever. Never returns to you in the name of Jesus. Pain in the teeth and step. Papa, I've been having severe back pain at my lower spine. Yes. If I bend down for a very long time, I will experience very severe pain. I will not be able to do anything. But right now, it's gone. Completely. Amen. Now, for all of you who are left my sincere apologies again you can always come by next week or during the week register your testimonies and our media team will do justice to let the world know what god has done as you allow i declare perfection for all of you in the name of jesus whether you were able to make it out um, here to testify or otherwise in the name of jesus we declare perfection by the power of the holy spirit rise up on your feet please stretch your hands towards your request I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and I found that. Truly, I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and I found that. Hallelujah. 
Why do we pray? Because God answers prayers. Why do we pray? Because he's asked us to use prayer as a platform to make petitions and to obtain requests. Why do we pray? Because it's a platform that allows for intercession. Meaning that you can reach someone who is not here, kilometers, nations, continents apart, like the centurion advocated for his son. Like Jarius' or the daughter, Jarius' daughter. You see that now. Make sure you understand why we pray. It's not a ritual. If you reduce it to a ritual, it has no power to deliver again. Believing that, let me request that you stretch your hands. Online, on site, outside, all the overflows. I will bow my knees to God as a sign of um, humility and in a posture of intercession. And in one minute, I'd like you to speak to the Lord before I make declarations. Father, visit me. Go ahead. Participate in your miracle. I like prayer requests because they are the most accurate representations of your faith. When we prophesy, we see impact and we're limited um, by time. When we minister to people, there's only so much we can minister, we can do. But when people submit their requests, um, you've taken your time to write these things. And the Bible says, what things soever ye desire. It says, when ye pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Go ahead and pray. So I'll bow my knees and lay my hands as a prophetic contact. Please don't be silent. Make declarations. I will return with a testimony. The Lord is turning my sorrow to dance in my morning uh, to joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Shame and reproach on account of this miracle service and this prophetic contact is living my life. That includes those who are following online. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sapratus Kaligrapanda Kasada Braga de Belegeta Sadem Brese Barasso Kasada Brakelaka Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. I release faith over this request. Representations of the pain, the burdens, the worries of your people. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Are you releasing your faith with me? Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Miracles of fruitfulness. Miracles of advancement. Miracles of restoration. Miracles of strength. Job opportunities. Marital open doors. Celebration of children. Twins and triplets and quadruplets. Opportunities to relocate abroad as your destiny requires. Restoration of marriages. Restoration of sick people. Some of you have lost money, you have lost opportunities. We command restoration. Strategic relationships that you have lost. May God restore. Koinonia shout Amen. May God restore. What happened to Esther that lifted her? May it happen to you. Ah, someone who has faith to believe. What happened to Esther that took her from Shushan to the palace? May it happen to you. What happened to Ruth? May it happen to you. What happened to Abraham that caused Abimelech to give him riches and all kinds of resources? May it happen to you. What happened to Gideon? that empowered him to lead an army, may it happen to you. What happened to Lot on account of his connection with Abraham, may it happen to you. Anyone here appointed unto death, that according to the plan of hell, that this is your last miracle service, that by the next one, you would have been buried. I cancel that statement. We cancel that statement. Cancel that statement. For you and your spouse, cancel. For you and your children, cancel. For you and your parents, cancel. Anyone here trusting God for a job, I bow my knees to the God of our Father and I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, by next miracle service, 
return with your employment letter. And hear me, believe in prophecy. Anyone who has a job that is fighting your relationship with God, not allowing you go to church, not allowing you serve God, that the only way to remain in that job is to compromise. May God relocate you to another job. In the name of Jesus, there is a grace for influence and visibility. That grace can pick you from your room and can cause the nations to know you. We are privileged stewards of that grace. And in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I place that anointing on your life. Believe it, I place that anointing on your destiny. Strangers will look for you. From across the nations of the earth, may they find you. They will not rest till they find you and bless you and announce you and honor you in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has called you the black sheep of any family, anyone who has called you the reason for shame and reproach, may my God, by His hand upon your life, may He vindicate you this season. Koinonia, anyone called barren, prepare for your children coming. I say it again, anyone called barren, this is the year you carry your children. I feel led to pray for people who are trusting God for structural establishment. A house, a car. If you don't believe it, allow those who believe it to receive. But in the name of Jesus, for anyone trusting God for structural establishment, in 30 days from now, in the name that is above all names, and I say this prophetically, may my God surprise you. Beyond your savings, beyond your current resources, may my God surprise you. Houses you did not build, vehicles you don't have the money to pay for, let's save or bring it to your doorstep. Hallelujah. Hear me. You have any gift upon your life that can announce you to the nations. But who to connect with may be what is missing. I pray for you right now. That gift stops being silent from today. That gift stops being silent from today. Those who need your gift, may they find you. Those who need your gift, may they find you. Those who can reward you for your gift, may they find you. In the name of Jesus. Therefore I declare over this request by the power of the Holy Spirit. The next request you will be writing will be for others, not for yourself again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. The hands that are lifted, no power will bring them down. Your hand represents your productivity. I say it again. The hands that are lifted, not by witchcraft, not the wickedness of men, not the antagonisms of negative people. No power will bring your hand down. No power will silence your voice. Surely they will gather, but they will not sustain the ability to diminish your influence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, let me pray for you. And I want you to receive this. Whatever makes you use your money to service sickness, use your money to service police cases, court cases, you never have the opportunity to enjoy the blessings of God upon your life. That God has been faithful, but your money is always used to resolve tragedy. From today, may tragedy be too late for your life. Did you hear what I said? May tragedy be too late for your life. Too late for your life. Too late for your business. Too late for your ministry. Too late for your family. In the name of Jesus. Shout a sevenfold amen. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
give Jesus a hand clap of praise and a shout of victory. When God vows to open a door, woe betides the man that stands behind that door. You see, I have taught you here that there are three ways of opening doors. I don't know who I'm prophesying to, but I, as I said this, I just sensed an anointing that there are certain doors that have refused to open. And those doors can be men. They have refused to open. He is called the father of spirits. Listen, there are three ways to open doors. The use of correct keys, number one, by knocking through relationships, number two, but the use of force. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. They sang loud enough for the jailers to hear them. And suddenly there was an earthquake. It rattled the foundation of the prison. And the Bible says immediately, all doors, how many doors? Financial doors, relational doors, all doors, career doors, all doors open. Turn it into prayer. Lord, open doors for me. Open doors for me. Let it be clear that I met you. Come on, pray. While you are seated, pray. Open doors for me. You can open doors. Career doors. I have been stagnated. Open doors for me. If I depend on men, shame will be my lot. But my God and my King, you are able to open doors. Outside, pray. Inside, pray. Open doors for me. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. Keep praying. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you, Jesus, no one like you. No one like you, is there no one like you? No one like you, Father, no one like you, Master. You're the God of everything. Someone is praying, doors are opening. No one like you, Jesus, no one like you. No one like you, is it? no one like you. No one like you, no one like you. Open doors, oh God. You're not a man, oh. You're not a man, oh. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, oh. You're not a man, oh. You're the God of everything. Listen. Please listen to me. Listen to me. Sometimes doors do not come close because it is an attack. It comes close because it is a new realm. When you buy new things, they are sealed. They are not sealed to hurt you. They are sealed as a sign of authenticity that no one has gotten this. There are, if you buy a drink and it's open, sometimes they tell you if this product has been tampered with, return it back because it means it's not new. There are certain closed doors now. It's not an attack. It's because no one in your family has entered before. You are the first who will be opening that door. Who am I prophesying to? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I call upon he who has the key of David, the one who opens a door that no man can shut and shuts a door. Every door that has been closed over your career, over your life, over your destiny, I declare, Efata be open. 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 Be open. Be open. 
doors of strategic relationships be open doors of strategic finances be open the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of secret places be open doors of career be open doors of destiny help us be open in the name of Jesus someone shout open shout open shout open shout open listen to me please don't be distracted something is happening in this place look at me every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit just because you are there does not mean the gates are open now you see if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states you will see like city gates am i right on that sometimes there are no doors until you pass that most of the people believe that you have not entered that city you will see maybe welcome to Kano or welcome to whatever those gates it was an ancient principle there are many people who are in abuja here but in the spirit you are not yet in abuja so you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here are you ready for gates to open and doors to open listen i have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land it is only strangers that eat of it i have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land it is strangers that eat of it we are going to pray that prayer there's an anointing on these open doors open God has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of God and I know the benefit 10 years can be compressed in one month under an open door I am telling you are you ready to pray say father shout it say father in the name of Jesus strategic doors in this season that I must enter I declare them open now Open your mouth and begin to pray. I declare them open. Everyone pray, be serious. Online pray. US pray. Canada pray. Kenya pray. South Africa pray. Ghana pray. Lagos pray. Every door, strategic doors, relational doors, financial doors, spiritual doors. take a minute to pray all doors open in this season all doors open in this season open of your own accord open unto me open for a new season open for greater influence open for greater kingdom impact all doors open strategic doors open relational doors open in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray be seated for one minute be seated for one minute my God fire is burning in this place be seated in this place this testimony of open doors you will see how many people will come and stand here hallelujah let me tell you what happens when a door opens there is no restraint again an open door means access to the next level all the rooms in a house are separated by doors just because you are in a house does not mean you will enjoy every provision in that house you can be in the living room but the door that leads to the kitchen is closed and if it does not open when you are hungry you will be in the house and be dying of hunger the door to the restroom can be closed when you are pressed and you need to ease yourself and that door is not open it brings discomfort hallelujah praise the name of the lord 
I want you to bring all those that the power of God will rest on them now. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. I want to make a declaration. This is not just for individuals. All these people are representing families. I'm seeing in the spirit. Families tied down by chains. Doors that have closed over them. This is what God is revealing to me. I want to bring them out. Every family here. Not just, you are individuals but you are representing families. No one has been able to go forward. There is an embargo that has sat upon families. In the name of Jesus Christ. I call upon El Shaddai. I call upon the warrior. Whilst you are seated. Anyone here. Under territorial closed doors. That have tied you down your family down right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost let it descend upon that family now let it descend upon that family now descend upon that family now descend upon that family now bring them out descend upon that family now in the name of Jesus descend upon that family now my God, in the name of Jesus, he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder, tied by witchcraft, tied by ancestry, tied by bloodline, in the name that is above all names. I say it again, be delivered now, be delivered now, be delivered now, you and your family, be delivered now. Open up the gate Open up the doors Will you open up the gates Open up the doors Shabala gabara tosia gabara Open up the gates The Lord is ministering to me that there are a number of you here an anointing is coming on you is a barrier breaking anointing something that has never been done in your family you have seen it in your visions you are the one ordained to do it I don't know how many of those people are there but let that anointing rest on you now bring them out the anointing of a savior the anointing of a breaker the anointing of a warrior in the name of Jesus dimensions in the spirit that have never been crossed in your family may you cross it now levels of wealth that have never been attained by your family step into it now step into it now step into it now hallelujah listen when angel Gabriel came to Zechariah and said you will have a son Zechariah wanted to prophesy something else and he shut his lips and then when they were about to call him John they said no you can't call him John nobody from this lineage has ever carried that name John nobody from this lineage has ever been called prosperous nobody from this lineage has ever been called anointed nobody from this lineage has ever been called a genuine christian nobody from this lineage has ever crossed primary school secondary school nobody from this lineage has even gone outside nigeria i stand by the anointing by the god who sent me anyone here who has been tied down pegged down that you and your family cannot go forward i prophesy to you go forward now go forward now Go forward now. Go forward now. Go forward now. Go forward now. Alenda kapara sata kepala kosabash. Rabada kapara kosiata. Go forward. Go forward in ministry. Go forward in ministry. Anointed but under closed heavens. Go forward. I release you go forward go forward in career 10 years without promotion 15 years without promotion go forward now 
Hallelujah. Listen, listen. I'm hearing in my spirit Jubilee. Let me tell you what Jubilee is. Jubilee is an exodus after many years of captivity. Please listen. Listen, we're praying. We're praying. There is the spirit of Laban. Is the spirit that never allows men to go. It will encourage you with something to keep you small. But it will never allow you to go and have your own space. It's a spirit that fights increase. When Laban saw Rachel, he liked her. And he wanted to marry her. But Jacob knew that if he marries her, he will go away. And he trapped her down. He trapped him down. And the man kept serving. When it was time to carry his wife, they exchanged the wife for Leah. And the man stayed again many years. The spirit of Laban. You won't suffer, but you won't rise. That is the spirit of Laban. You won't beg, but you can't give. Because you are barely enough. I pray for you. Any house you have found yourself, physically and in the spirit, that is tying you down, not allowing you to rise to live destiny. Tonight, I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. Be released to go forward. Be released to make progress. Be released to make progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, the Holy Ghost power. Return back rejoicing. Return back rejoicing. Return back rejoicing. Return back rejoicing. Hallelujah. Return back rejoicing. I struggle to share this vision, but my conscience will not allow me if I don't share it. We need to pray. Yesterday, while I was praying, I saw a vision and I saw that the devil wants to bring back something in this nation that once happened. The era of bomb blast. I saw this in my vision. And the Lord, it, it came as if it was something physical that I was there. And the Lord said I should pray. This is not to scare you. Again, prophecy does not bring fear. Are we together now? Yes. The dominion power of the word is greater than anything we see. And the purpose of revelation is to bring salvation and redemption. But I saw this, that there is a plot again to revive this thing about bomb blasts again. The church has the authority to stop this devilish thing. Are we together? The nations are cross and the nation is already going through too much every bloodthirsty spirit hear what i'm saying it was here i stood last year and i preached i shall not want i told you that i had a vision and in that vision that i saw that there was going to be a lot of economic hardship and even as a ministry we said we'll take responsibility and thankfully we're able to partner with css farm to be able to do something small i'm not somebody who comes on air and wastes my time I respect God but I also respect myself are we together the teaching ministry is enough for me the miracle ministry is enough for me but if I come out here to tell you God said then it's not only because I saw it's because it's impressed it upon my spirit are we together you have invested your trust and your loyalty I will not come and play games not at this point of my life in ministry why is God revealing this? So that we'll pray. I'm going to pray for the sick, but we are going to pray. Pray so that it will not be where you are there. Remember how Mordecai warned Esther. He said, don't you think the plot of Haman 
is just for all of us. God has brought you for such a time as this. Number one, we are going to pray. This nation is God's nation. For the sake of the elect, God will preserve his name. Number two, we are going to pray. Anybody working with elemental forces to resurrect something we have casted out of this nation, we are going to ask the earth to open and swallow them. You don't like that prayer, but keep quiet while I do the praying. In the name of Jesus, are we together? And then number three, we are going to pray for the armed forces, defense, police, civil defense, for wisdom, courage, and grace. You may not know how these people labor until you have a husband or a brother or a child that while they are sending them to go and fight, you don't even know whether they will return back. Are we together? Can we lend our voices to pray? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Blood testy spirits over the soul of Nigeria. Blood testy spirits over the soul of this nation to resurrect mayhem, to resurrect evil, to resurrect death. In the name of Jesus Christ, whether as sacrifices or demonic orchestrations, we call upon God who is a jealous warrior. Arise for your namesake. God reveals to redeem. Arise for your namesake. In the name of Jesus, arise for your namesake. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, we avert evil. We avert evil. We avert evil. We avert evil in the north, in the south, the east, the west of Nigeria. We avert evil in Abuja here, the F city. Our going out and coming in is blessed. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the law enforcement agencies. Grace, integrity of service. In the name of Jesus, that perpetrators of mayhem will be apprehended and brought to justice. We empower them by prophecy. We empower them with wisdom. We empower them with grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Use this opportunity to declare the covering of the blood over yourself and your loved ones. Mention them my name. My child will not die. My mother will not die. If they leave my house in the morning, they will return in the night. If they leave my house in the morning, they return in the night. If I take a flight, it will not crash. If I go by road, there is no accident. In the name of Jesus, blood testing spirits walking through evil men walking through wicked men it will not come near my dwelling not the arrows that fly by day not the moistened pestilences not the destructions that waste in noonday in jesus name in Jesus name your business can only thrive when there is peace your business can only thrive when there is peace are we together you can only go to school when there is peace Satan wants to fight the soul of this nation but the devil is defeated in the name of Jesus Christ there are still witnesses and envoys, preservers of God's purposes. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Let your fire fall upon my life. Let your fire bring a separation. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray for you now. We are never doing the same thing every time I rebuke devils. There are lives and destinies that are under the yokes of darkness. It's time for the devil to give up. Are we together? Are you ready to shout that name that is above all names? Let me tell you, I want you to be childlike tonight and just follow these instructions and watch the wonder-working power of God in your life. 
at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus everywhere and as you shout that name the sword of the lord will pierce through every root of every challenge and begin to command victory for you are we together now especially for those of you who are coming here for the first time i'm ministering deliverance now every yoke of darkness that has tied anyone's life as you shout this name may the visitation of that fire are you ready now one two three I command the fire, the fire of the Spirit. Bring them up, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, every altar and everything, every high thing that is not of God, I curse you now. I curse you now. I curse you now. hallelujah i think the ground is good enough you can bring them in the name of jesus i'm praying now i'm still praying anyone's destiny that is under siege right now i stretch my hands in the name of jesus i'm seeing i'm seeing like bolts of fire falling on people if it falls on you your destiny is opening up lord where are they i stretch my hands may the visitation of fire open destinies now shake it katakata open destinies now open destinies now inside outside open destinies now open destinies now hallelujah i'm seeing a horn and i'm seeing fire burning it please be sensitive this is a symbol of authorities that sit over lives and families he said in Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18 what yes thou he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem against Judah so that no man does lift his head he said but I have sent four carpenters lift your heads I'm praying right now in the name of Jesus the fire of God is falling on people inside and outside in the name of Jesus anyone here shabos sekatos kabariakata under any kind of demonic siege at the count of three that horn that symbol of authority that has tied your family that has tied your life it is uprooted one two three i release that fire now i release that fire now i release that fire now by the anointing of the holy ghost i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy ghost anyone here whose life is under siege be delivered now hallelujah the lord wants to visit the issue of barrenness but then he's using physical barrenness as a prophetic symbol for productivity so that you are not surprised if you are a man and the anointing still visits you the womb is the place where seed is planted that womb can be anything a woman's womb is just a type and a shadow of a system of increase there are people a barren woman is a woman whose womb cannot receive and multiply seed the way it is physically that's how it is spiritually you receive the word but it never produces it's barrenness you receive finances but it never multiplies it's barrenness lift your hands as i pray listen many people many people are going to be delivered from just this prayer you will be surprised to know that many of your requests are tied to this one prayer lift your hands i'm praying now that in the name of jesus ah I tell you all i see is just fire that's what i'm seeing every spirit responsible for barrenness in anyone's life right now by the fire of the holy ghost i declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now by the anointing of the holy ghost overflow one i'm seeing three people 
I'm praying now. I know because of time we can't let you come in. But I'm seeing three people. Two are ladies. One is a gentleman. This prayer is for you. There is an anointing as I'm speaking that is coming overflow. One on people outside. The Lord is bringing massive deliverance. Barrenness is a dangerous thing. Listen. Whatever you give a barren person is as well as wasting your time because it cannot grow it cannot multiply jesus saw the fig tree it was taken from the earth taken from the earth but it was not producing in the name of jesus i'm still praying that prayer again that any life here that satan has rendered barren i stand by the anointing of the holy ghost and i decree and declare be delivered right now be delivered right now from every siege of barrenness be delivered right now be delivered right now from every siege of barrenness hallelujah Kemi, who is Kemi? Kemi. um i may not maybe i may just talk to one or two people Kemi, you are wearing red it's like it's a guy called Kemi. Who is that you are wearing red what's your name uh -uh, i didn't i'm saying this is i'm saying i know that Kemi is a lady's name on. it's not a guy i will pray for you it's your hunger this is you are wearing red what's your name your name is Kemi. yes sir you are wearing red i'll pray for you but gentlemen you are here there is a hunger that you carry listen you came from ah uh, i'm seeing cross river yeah? Cross River. Cross River. Cross River. You yes, came. Sir. Yes, sir. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, listen to me. Yes, sir. You came because of a hunger yes, sir. to truly get an anointing. Yes, but you see, this message I preached was for you. Yes, you heard what I'm saying? Yes, this running around to want to do ministry by force is not the way it works. The Lord Himself, He will give you an anointing, but He will give you direction. What you need is an encounter with the word and direction, but you will never go back the same. Receive that anointing. A new dimension a new season my dear there is a spirit of prophecy upon your life in the name of jesus christ i stir up that spirit that dimension i open you to a realm where you begin to see and hear the sounds of the spirit in the name of jesus as i'm praying this i'm seeing number 11 the same thing that came on this lady the anointing of the spirit is looking for 11 people there is the spirit of prophecy. Where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Eleven people. Eleven people scattered inside and outside. In the name that is above all names. Receive that spirit. You need it. I stir it up from your spirit man. I stir it up from your spirit man. The grace for prophecy. Makatos Kabarakata. Sons and daughters. Stepping into dimensions of prophecy some of you you have only had dreams only dreams but i shift you to dimensions of visions prophetic visions you will never be the same i'm still praying this i'm still praying this there are people this is your call but no anointing has ever stirred it in the name of jesus i shift you in the spirit into that anointing the very anointing the seat of the prophetic i move you by grace in the name of jesus christ i activate it i activate it that dimension i'm praying i don't know why god is moving this way there are people the call of god is upon your life but you don't know it you don't know that the call of god is upon your life but tonight as a token the spirit of god is visiting you whether you know it or not lord where are they i stretch my hands now if the hand and the mandate of god is upon your life for your destiny in the area of the fivefold i declare let the anointing of the spirit locate you as it locates you the lord begins to prepare you where are they receive that grace receive that grace receive that grace
Abaraka toka 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 ta. Shabenda salaba seketa subria katali kato. Hallelujah. There is a dangerous spirit. Our time is up. Hold on. But there is a spirit that I want to rebuke now. I just saw written in the air rejection. Hold on. Many of you do not know the reason why good things never reach you. You stand, you are watching, and an opportunity come. Rejection is not just a state, it's a spirit. Lift your hands. Don't pray, don't do anything, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. That's the instruction the Lord is giving me. Just lift your hands, just do what I'm asking you to do. In the name of Jesus, many of you will be surprised now. There are people, it's like a yoke. I'm seeing like cowries, these cowries that they use. That's what I'm seeing. And in the name of Jesus Christ, as the power of God is smashing that rubbish, that's how many people who have been despised, been despised. The Bible says where you have been forsaken so that no man passes through you. It says you become an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. Right now I stretch my hands from the front to the back. Overflow one, two, three the roadside and online if there is anyone here under the siege of the spirit of rejection right now in the name of jesus in this silence may the anointing of the spirit begin to bring deliverance right now i'm praying it's happening right now taking away that spirit from your life please be sensitive we are doing a quick walk rejection 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost rejection i command that spirit to leave i'm still praying i command that spirit to leave i command that spirit to leave alongside with this there are people bad luck good things must always turn to evil when it hold, when it enters your hand no matter what it is if they give you money something must go bad a good opportunity it must be destroyed you enter a relationship something must happen i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is under this kind of siege here at this miracle service fire 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 i release the fire of the spirit right now from the front to the back inside outside I command your deliverance right now I command your deliverance right now I command your deliverance right now keep your hands lifted and pray mighty things are happening in the spirit I asked us to pray a prayer that the Lord put in my heart patterns I'm still seeing it again there are some of you the same thing happens to every member of your family at certain seasons everything must happen either somebody dies or someone doesn't marry straight and correct you must have a child before you get married or something someone will rape you someone raped your mother someone will rape some kind of nonsense patterns in the name of jesus at the count of three i want you to shout jesus lord i pray that as your people shout that name every pattern that happened to the fathers that is about to replay itself in the life of your people let it be broken at the count of three one two three i declare those patterns broken now those patterns broken now those patterns broken now those patterns broken now Thank you so much for watching this powerful video. I hope you were blessed. Do well to keep praying, keep being prayerful. God bless you. Share these prayers with your family and friends, and God will bless you. See you in our next video. Bye for now. Bye.